Hello and welcome to OCD Hi-Fi Guy. What is happening here is a comparison between separates and an integrated. We're going to listen to roughly 60k worth of separates and compare it to a $10,000 integrated. Now, I should preface this by saying the integrated is brand new. I have not had enough time to sit and break the thing in. So for whatever that's worth, we're going to take it at face value. I have to deliver it later. And I'm not going to have any time to break it in. It has to go to a customer. So this will still give us point of reference because I think it's a phenomenal integrated amp. Again, what we're listening to right now is the APL Hi-Fi DSD-M Plus DAC. The Jeff Rowland 625S2 power amplifier. Solid state. Class AB. And the NAT Audio Magnetic Line Stage. It's 10K. And it's a very good vacuum tube line stage. And my server, which is like 4K. And that's just something I built myself. And I'm going to play a piece I learned about from a guy named Joe up in North, North Carolina. I went by his place. We did a demo there. And he consequently was introduced to... Jeff Rowland's Class AB Designs, a 625S2 right here, which we brought up. And uh, the speakers were Von Schweikert 55s. And let's just say it was a match made in heaven. And he played a piece of music that was violin. And I'm not familiar with orchestral music. And this thing grabbed me from the second it started I was just sort of under its spell of the piece of music and the violin started and I about started bawling like it was I was like <gasps> I totally had to hold my breath and I, I was like I was gonna say something but I couldn't talk because I like if I start saying a sentence I'm just gonna bawl so I had to like not say anything <laughs> it's pretty wild man it happens every so often and you know when you're connecting with the emotion that well, that you're really listening to a special rig. And we had a great afternoon there listening. He turned us on to some great music. Thanks, Joe. And, uh, and so here I am with the piece to play this back again and, and see if we can make a comparison to the integrated. It's hard music to play back and make it sound real. So here we go.
Wow. So that sounds like tragedy. Whatever happened was no bueno, amigo. That was uh that's pretty wild. Um Yeah, it's 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 amazing how it doesn't even have to have words. It doesn't, you know, I mean you can just do a little violin like that with with nothing else, it's like a solo piece that is just so tragic. You know, it's wild. Um okay, so I'm trying to find Let's see, I'll just try this thing here. Oh, what's that? Oh, let's see. Just trying to find some different style style of music, but it's gonna have me drift away too far. I'm gonna try one other piece, which we can. Uh, okay, so let's see, and then we can re do that when the. What's this all about? Let's go. Peter Gabriel. I'm not familiar with that song. Big John was listening to it the other day over here. That sounds like some pretty raw, dirty P G Peter Gabriel that's all rough around the edges. It needs some polish, but it's kind of beautiful in its rawness. Uh, anyways, that's all I got. I'm not going to go through a bunch of tunes. We're going to do this, keep it short and sweet. So I'll put in the uh, integrated. I'll be back. See you. Okay, welcome back. Now, I have swapped out all the separates for this one piece right here. It is the Jeff Rowland Continuum Integrated Amplifier. So this thing has 400 watts per channel. Um, it is uh, got a multitude of different inputs, both uh, analog and, and digital. Actually, there's one digital input. It's a SPDIF. Uh, RCA and then the analogs are both balanced and single-ended you can see behind There's a home theater bypass for those that want to use it as a power amp. It bypasses all the d the chips and what have you Just goes through as an analog uh, uh, Power amp So there's many provisions in here Too many to even list right now, but uh, it's very versatile. There's jumpers inside the amp that you can use to change different parameters and choices you can it's 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 got a lot more flexibility than I thought I mean there's a lot of variables that you can change depending on your rig so it's a very versatile type amplifier so we're just coming straight out of the server which is right here we're coming straight out of here Whoop, right here um, USB to the little USB converter back there and then we're coming straight down to this integrated and that is it it's all that's in there so we lost a couple power cords we lost some analog xlrs we're saving money on a bunch of things by using the integrated and you can listen and hear what it sounds like don't mind that freak okay hey Psst. rocco come here Okay, out, go out. Go on. And that's uh, a dog that we watch time to time. Okay, so let's see, where are we? Okay. No, okay, so let's hear. This is what we listened to yesterday.
I'm gonna go through the same tunes we listened to yesterday. Turn your lights down low. And pull your window curtains. Oh, let your moon come shine. Who tune, man? I was like, what?
Think about that tune. I'll bet you that one gets you yanked right off. Um, something as prolific as the Fab Five. So, um, okay, there you have it. Um, that is a very capable, very capable integrated amplifier. Um, it, 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 uh, and and you know we're listening to it now, and it's factory fresh. It's not even had a chance to settle in or break in really so i'm gonna let it play for the next all through the weekend i'm gonna set it over in the corner and just let it run and uh so we can check it out one more shot on uh monday uh although it's time to change the rig back to quad amp i am missing that so i've got to put i want to test these out to those magma, uh, these other, whoops, the other um, Nat Audio big tube things. 
Um, we had him here last time. I don't know if you remember, but uh, when we played him on the Maggies, we could make him peter out. Like it wasn't, you know, we could, we found their limit. Unlike the big ones, the big ones we could not find their limit. They it, it got uh, it got to uh, the listening level. It, it got beyond listening level before it got to distortion. Uh, the other ones got to distortion before they got beyond listening level. So a um, more efficient speaker is needed. So we can, all I've got right here now are these garage sale finds, or, you know, I call them, but the uh, the Klipsch uh, Forte 2 that have been modified. They're not bad. You put them with a Wicked Amp, and it's amazing what they'll do. They did some cool stuff with those 845 monos, and maybe we could do that as a comparison next just for fun. Is we'll pull out the Klipsch, and then we'll put um, the 845 monos and compare them to the uh, the NAT audio single tube, and we'll do a comparison of amps uh, on the Klipsch, and that'll be kind of fun. So uh, that's it, and uh, that concludes our test, comparing the Roland separates. Uh, and, well, we had $60,000 worth of gear, and we took it out, and we put in $10,000 uh, integrated and uh and it is not quite the same but it it shouldn't be you know for that kind of dough you better get an upgrade uh but i'll tell you what for 10k this thing is awesome uh it is um it, it images very very wide uh it it was um spot on with its imaging uh and it um uh, it's got everything included inside that piece uh, there is a DAC along with the line stage an analog line stage analog volume control um you know so and and a power amp uh hefty one 400 watts per channel at eight so um it's nothing's gonna slow that one down um anyways so uh that does it so thanks for joining us and we'll see you